Hi, welcome once again and in this lesson we are going to learn about vibrance and saturation. This is one of the most interesting things in Adobe Photoshop and we are going to learn about the vibrance and saturation. So let's open our exercise file for applying the vibrance and saturation in an image. So let's open it. Here is the file menu, here is the open option and inside our exercise file it will get this omen in red and black florals shorts so you just have to select this image and then you have to click open here we go this is the image and you can take a look a beautiful lady she jumps on the road and we have the green background as well but if you focus on this image this image seems not active it seems inactive image so we want to we want to make active image so how we will do that you can do that very easily using vibrance and saturation so let's apply the vibrance and saturation in this image for making this image more active so you will get the vibrance and saturation option inside this adjustments tab so this is the adjustments tab and here is a triangle icon and this is the option for vibrance so let me click on this vibrance option okay cool this is the properties of vibrance and this is the parameter for changing the point of vibrance and this is the field for putting the manual values but i'm going to use this pointer for changing the vibrance i want to make active this image that means this color of trees will be more active it will have more green color the dress color of this lady likewise the red colors of the dress will be more active and more stronger that's what i'm looking for so how it will do that so let's increase the vibrance and for increasing the vibrance you just have to move this pointer at right so let's do that okay cool can you compare the image between before and after i'm pretty sure right now it looks more active than before so inside the layers panel you can take a look we got a new layer and the name of the new layer is vibrance because we apply the vibrance in this background image that's why a new layer is created and vibrance is applied in here so if you want to compare between before and after then you just have to turn this vibrance layer off then you can have a compare so let me turn it off this is the before image and this is the after i'm pretty sure you have the concept that after applying the vibrance this image looks much better but if you want to if you want to make this image i mean the color of crease if you want to make this more green if you want to make the red color of this beautiful lady's dress if you want to make it more red then you have to apply the saturation so let's do that so my ultimate destination right now that i will make the trees color more green i will make the red color of the dress as more red and that's why i'm going to use the saturation so let's use this pointer of saturation right now we have zero manual values and i'm going to increase the saturation point so you just have to move this pointer right right okay cool can you imagine how it look like right now i'm pretty sure it looks much better than before so right now we have more active green color for the trees we have more active red color inside the traces so let's compare between before and after so let me turn off the vibrance layer this is the previous image and after applying the vibrance and saturation how it look like let me turn it on this layer and it's how it looks like it's really amazing right now so this is the simple process for applying vibrance and saturation in an image using adobe photoshop so let's 